Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is incredible. As you know, I'm in my egg station here, which means only one thing, which is an egg cutting. That's right, so we're gonna start the day with an egg cutting, and I was pretty excited about this particular clutch. I've talked before that I really wanna bolster my orange dreams and my ball python colony. This is actually an Enchi orange dream. It was bred to a super Enchi pinstripe. So in theory, if that male is the father, which I think it is, uh, everything should be Enchi, should get quite a few super Enchi, on average half should be orange dream. What we're shooting for is a super enchi pinstripe orange dream. That's the animal I'm hoping we produce. But there should be some other really cool stuff in here too. So we have two, four, six eggs. Let's get it cut in. All right, so first egg. And the orange dream sometimes doesn't jump out at you. So we'll have to see how things go. But nevertheless, we should produce some really beautiful things in here. And oh my gosh, guys, right off the rip. We've got a super Enchi pinstripe orange dream. Ooh, doggy. Ooh, that thing is gorgeous, man. Oh my God, that was what I was dreaming for. I was hoping for that. I want to keep a male of this. So if this is a male or we don't get any other ones, I am keeping that. If it's a female, I might keep it too. I'm not sure. That is absolutely a ripper. And again, you can see much more orange. You can definitely see the super Enchi. You can see the pinstripe influence. That is an absolute ripper right there. So gosh, hit it right off the bat. We still have five eggs to go. Let's keep going. So I tell you what, that is the way you always want to start a clutch. Let's just hope that uh, it's not all downhill after that. That's for sure. So what do we have here? We have just another little Enchi. Doesn't look like an orange dream to me. So it looks like just an Enchi. And again, because it's a super Enchi dad, theoretically, all of the babies should be Enchi, right? Now, why I say theoretically is because you never know. This year has been such a wild year. You never know what's going to happen. Let's move on to egg number three. And that orange dream stuff is just such a beautiful gene. And the Enchi is beautiful. Orange dream and Enchi together work so well together. Uh, looks like, uh, let's see what we have here. Looks like an orange dream. I think it's actually an Enchi orange dream, actually. Just a little more orange. We'll wait till it hatches out. You can really start to tell. The problem with the orange dream, much like a lot of that kind of enhancer genes is that there's this there's kind of a scale right you can get a 10 that's a beautiful orange dream and you can get a one that's just a little expression of an orange dream so sometimes it's hard to tell that to me looks like it's definitely an enchi orange dream just not a 10 maybe like a three if that makes any sense we still have three eggs to go this one's all pipped out so it's already was ready to hatch so we're going to see what's in here and uh hopefully it's something awesome all right here we go bum, bum, bum. what do we have Another looks like, oh, this looks like maybe a super Enchi though. This looks like a super Enchi and it does look like an orange dream. So it looks like a super Enchi orange dream, just lacking the pinstripe. So again, not a high expression orange dream, but definitely looks like an orange dream to me and definitely looks like a super Enchi because that super Enchi reduces pattern even more, right? The Enchi reduces pattern and then the super is even more reduced, which is pretty cool. Two more eggs. Let's get one more super Enchi pin orange dream, please, in these next two eggs. It's kind of weird that we are literally on egg number five and we only had one pinstripe so far, which is a little bit interesting, but let's see what we have here. Looks like another not pinstripe, unfortunately, but this is definitely a much better expression of a super Enchi orange dream. This one is a lot nicer. If that other one was a three, this is probably like a six or a seven, maybe even an eight. I mean, this is a beautiful animal right here. So again, super Enchi orange dream, one last egg. Again, I'm happy we hit it on the first one. I'm super excited we got the all gene animal, but I'd like to just have one more, because like I said, I really want to raise up a male. The fact that we have one of these beauties, you don't know if it's a male or a female, so if we get a second one, at least it doubles my odds, right? So let's go ahead, hit this last egg, and let's start the clutch on a bang and end the clutch on a bang. Come on. It's Like I said, it's crazy that we only got one pinstripe, and oh, it looks like there's not another pinstripe in this one. No, nope, no, nope. and this one looks like just a normal Super Enchi, not an orange dream. So it's a weird kind of clutch. You know, we had six eggs, only one pinstripe, but that pinstripe was exactly what we were hoping for. And then we got a whole bunch of Super Enchi stuff, a couple Super Enchi orange dreams, which is really great. A couple Enchi orange dreams, which is great. And then it looks like just a normal Enchi. So listen, it is a good clutch. I am super excited about this. These are gonna be some animals that will add to my colony. And we're gonna get that orange dream stuff really going over the next few years, because it's a banger type of mutation for sure. So uh, what a way to start the day. Let's push our problems aside and move on with the next. Some of you guys know that we've had a Patreon for quite some time and uh, I appreciate the people that have supported us through it. To be honest with you, I don't feel we've done a really good job of like giving you value for that Patreon. Well, we are about to change that. You know, Anthony now is with us, Jay's friend from New Jersey. He's working with us full time now and he's gonna spear up some Patreon stuff. That means uh, exclusive content, 
digital posters, a whole bunch of different things. So I'll put a link in the description to my Patreon if you're interested in uh, supporting us. We always appreciate it. Again, you know, anything we make from it just goes into the zoo and expansion and all kinds of stuff like that. Helps the wheels turn. We do appreciate it. Never begging for anything. But uh, if you want some kind of more behind the scenes, there's going to be something that's called Brian's Corner that we'll do every single week. That is like a two or three minute kind of just me talking about whatever I want to talk about. Maybe I'll talk about how to do YouTube, how to breed snakes, how to run a reptile zoo. Whatever the case is, we'll even be doing polls on Patreon for you guys to decide what next week's Brian's Corner will be. So uh, that's just one of many things we're going to do, a lot of behind the scenes stuff. So again, if you guys are interested in more content, feel free to check out the link in the description to my Patreon. Hey guys, what's up? Unfortunately, we did have a stillborn recently. And now this was not obviously expected. We do not want this to happen. However, we don't want to go this an as animal's life go to waste. I thought of the great idea. Why not try to feed it to baby Kush? As we sort of experiment, it's really kind of interesting to see what animals are down for it and what animals aren't. And uh, you know, like uh, like for instance, like we had tried the spitting cobra. I've tried other cobras in the past and they never really tried, I never really wanted it. So it's really interesting to see what animals are willing to eat some meat materials and, and not so much others. It's really, really interesting. Why would you be picky in the wild? It's so odd. So uh, let's get started. Buddy, man, that was, man, he gave me a run for my money today. I, I was, I was sweat, I was sweating up a storm while I was sitting in there. Uh, but uh, yeah, honestly, that was that was about as good as it could get right there. He seems to be really, really coming along as far as like like our own interaction between him and myself. I really think there's a lot, a lot of promise to this guy. I, I really think we're going to be able to actually do more and 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 even be able to interact with him like on one on one instead of just with a piece of metal in between us or a piece of glass in between us. So uh, I'm really excited about it. I, I really, really think this was such a, such a good, 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 positive reinforcement for him. And man, like he's gonna come along so well. Give us a couple more years and I promise you, this is gonna be my, this is gonna be my boy right here. Just admiring a couple snakes over here at BHB that are gonna be going into brumation here in about a month and a half or so. This is actually a no block eye, Para Humera Mountain King Snake. Absolutely wonderful. It's much like the Arizona Mountain King Snakes. It's the same Pyro Milana, but it's from a different area. Of course, Mexico and Terra Humera. So beautiful snakes. Definitely can't wait to be producing more of these in the coming years. I swear this snake looks like it should be in a video game, like the fire or something like that. That is ridiculous. Of course, this is just a scaleless Texas rat snake, but it's actually polymorphically bred for that orange and red, and it has some white flecking on it. It literally is ridiculous. I mean, that is outrageous. We've got so many new scaleless Texas rat snakes that are going to be up to size this next year. It's going to be a really good year. We raised up like, I don't know, like 10 or 15 animals from a couple years ago that were just screamers, just like this one here. And again, this is something that breeds true. So if you actually breed like these high orange or high red or high yellow, whatever it is, you will produce more like them. So buckle up guys. Next year is going to be a crazy year for scaleless Texas rats. For those of you guys that have been following me for some time, I've been raising up these black milk snakes. These are what they call Lampropeltis triangulum gauge and they're born red, white, and black. And then as they get older, they actually turn solid black. Now this one, you can barely still see a little bit of its color and pattern, but it's getting blacker and blacker. Here pretty soon, you won't be able to see anything. They're like the Mexican Black Kings, jet black and glossy. The only difference is, is these guys can literally get seven, almost eight foot long. They are absolutely incredible. So I'm super stoked that finally, these guys are starting to get their adult black color in, and that's so cool. So with any luck, next year, we'll produce some babies of these guys 
I just wanted to update you guys at how amazing they're starting to look. Of course, Lori's favorite animal, Matilda, over here, just crunching down on some sweet potatoes. She is just such a beastie, I tell you what. And definitely, in the next couple days, I know I've been saying it, but I'm gonna work on this door right here. Cut, cut, swing. That way, Matilda can come out. I know Lori's like, yeah, right, you've been talking about it for weeks, but I literally, I'm hoping maybe two days from now, I'll be able to work on this, two or three days from now, something like that, work on this, cut this out, get this door. That way, Matilda can actually come out and walk around without us having to pick her up and stuff like that. But she's definitely loving this week. She is so funny, the way she eats. And I tell you, she loves Lori. She acts differently to Lori than anyone else. It's really quite comical that a tortoise can be attached to a human like she is to Lori. Another package. Let's see what we got. You guys sent us so much stuff. You guys, it, it's so nice of you guys to always do this. It's a package inside of a package. This one's heavy. Feel the heaviness of this. That oh, means it's something, something else good. In there too. It's a gift from Spencer. Enjoy the gift. Ooh. We know you love something. I'm not going to ruin it. Let me open it. And then to Lori, thank you for what you do at the zoo at BHB from Spencer and Larissa. These are these. I don't know what those are. They look like stickers. Yeah, it looks like stickers. Oh my goodness. I God, think there's a box inside of a box inside of a box. I don't know. I think these were for you, actually. This is uh, probably... They're all sloth stickers, so I know they're not for me. Oh, That's oh a lot of those are sloth, sloth stickers. stickers. Those are dope. Look at those things. <laughs> That's a lot. All over my computer. You won't even be able to see the back of my computer. I'm going to just have them all over. So this is probably through, and it's smelling good. Is it? Oh my gosh. It's smelling it, whatever, good or bad? No, I think it smells really good. Whatever it is, I think you're going to like because it reminds me of your like, bath. No, it reminds oh, me of your bath. Say, does it smell like lavender? No, it reminds me of your bath. You know how much I love that smell. Okay, I, I don't know down, what the heck down. it is. Gonna I'm going to break it. it. I know you are. It does. Well, it smells a little bit more flowery smell at all like my bath. Well, it's not it bad. But it's good. And it's a little candle in a little top. So there you go. Does it say? So there you have it. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. We'll do more unboxing because we still have about 20 more things to unbox. But we won't bore you in this one. Uh, thank you guys. You are thank always you amazing. So Love some of those babies we got out of the egg cutting today. And I tell you what, is it wild to see baby Kush eat that snake? Again, we just like to, you know, we don't want to waste something like that. Give some nutrition to that animal. He would eat snakes in the wild, so it's really good for him on all levels. That was absolutely amazing. If you enjoyed this video, here's a playlist right here. Just roll through it. You'll find out what it's about and you'll absolutely love it. Um, here, can you do me a favor? Subscribe to my podcast channel. You can see podcast is happening up here right now. You're guys are going to like it called checking in on this side can you subscribe to this vlog channel please turn your post notifications on have an absolutely wonderful day everyone be kind to someone and i promise i'll see you tomorrow